Honorable ministers, delegates, and the country representative from the member state. It's a great honor for me and a pleasure for me to be a part of this event. Pakistan is a proud for its long-standing association with the ITO. This organization, which now more than 150 years old, has made a critical contribution in setting a standard and in development partnership to promote ICT as a catalyst for the socio-economic development. In the past two decades, the impact on our lives, societies, and economies has been transformed. The technology has catalyzed economic growth and have been instrumental in elevating poverty and promoting sustainable development. In the midst of COVID-19 pandemic, the ICT emerged as a key tool not only in the fight against the virus, but also in sustaining and improving our health, education, social and economic ecosystems. As, as the world is increasing, becoming digital interdependent, harnessing ICT as a force for good remain a key global policy imperative. We share the aspiration for a safe, inclusive and equitable digital future for progress and peace. As guided by the United Nations Secretary General Roadmap for Digital Cooperation, as the fifth largest country with a huge number of talented and enterprising youth, Pakistan is fully invested in developing a knowledge-based economy and a digitally empowered society through the use of adoption of inclusive, affordable, and sustainable ICT. With more than 19,000 registered ICT companies and over 600,000 ICT professionals, Pakistan ICT industry is one of the world's largest entities among its regular clients and is providing service to over 190 countries around the world. Pakistan has the population of 220 million. Out of that, 195 million people have an access to the mobile phone. That, this means the talent density is almost 88%. And again, same with the uh, 4G and the 3G user, user. 119 million people are using the 4G. Uh, then with the broadband, broadband penetration is already over 55%. That is with the 122 million. Ladies and gentlemen, the government of Pakistan has been improving its telecom infrastructure to ensure affordable connectivity to remote and the unserved underserved areas. That is the second tier and the third tier of the city. This has enhanced power. This has enhanced empowerment of women and girls. Their participation in labor market, financial market, and the freelancer. The increased connectivity has opened new avenues of gig economy in the far-flung areas. Pakistan is pursuing an open-door policy framework designed to extend maximum facilitation to companies interested in business investment in IT sector, e-commerce, e-governance, and other IT related. The government pursuing pro-investment policy and are inclusive and affordable with the robust private sector participation. In the end, I would like to express my sincere thanks for the excellent preparation of, by our host, the government of Romania and the people of Romania for making this PP22 conference a memorable event for all of us. I thank you.